Hello, everyone, and welcome to week 24 of MSK Unknown Case Series. This is an amazing case. Let's go ahead and get started. We have a frontal view of bilateral hands. So we're looking at the hands here, and I want to point your attention to the third PIP joints bilaterally, right? So the finding that we're seeing here are erosions, right? We're seeing loss of bone centered <clears throat> at the third PIP joints bilaterally. Okay, and the question that I have for you guys is, what arthropathy would give the type of erosion seen at the third PIP joints in the hands here? Would it be gout, psoriasis, rheumatoid arthritis, or erosive OA? What arthropathy would give the type of erosions that we're seeing there at the third PIP joints? And of course, the answer here is gout. What we're seeing here are juxtaarticular erosions, right? We have erosions that are not really in the joint space, but just around or outside the joint space. They're very well marginated, really well defined, uh, nice appearance for what gout arthropathy would look like. And I wanna talk a little bit about hand erosions because I think hand erosions is a very sometimes intimidating topic for residents and that when they're deciding what type of arthropathy that they're seeing based on the erosions. And people often talk about the location or the distribution of findings for arthritis. And I think that's very important. So for example, gout often affects the first MTP joint in the toe, right? In psoriatic arthritis, typically has a distal distribution in the you know, PIP, DIP joints. They can have a, a row type of configuration where it involves you know, all the PIP joints of all of the hands or all the DIP joints. It can have a, a ray distribution where it involves just one finger, uh, you know, that, and it can have periositis and other findings, right? Rheumatoid arthritis is classically more proximal, like radiocarpal, uh, CMC, MCP joint, maybe PIP joint involvement, right? Erosive OA would have stigmata of osteoarthritis, but involve the PIP and DIP joints. But so just how location or distribution of findings is important for hand erosions, I think also talking about the actual location of the erosion within the joint is very important. I think that's a topic that's not really talked about well in residency programs or when teaching hand erosion. So I want to take a moment to talk about that. So what I mean by that is you should think about when I'm only talking about the hand here, I'm going to give differential diagnosis for all these three types. So a juxtaarticular erosion, a marginal erosion, and a central erosion. I'm going to give differential for what this would be in the hand. So for example, in this case, the erosion is located in a juxtaarticular position. It's not within the joint, but it's right outside the joint, right? It's right outside the joint, not in the joint anywhere, right? That's what I mean by juxtaarticular. When you see that, we should automatically think gout. In fact, almost nothing else, right? Now, of course, end-stage rheumatoid arthritis can result in a juxtaarticular erosion, but when you say the word juxtaarticular erosion, you're pretty much telling the, the patient and the referring physician that this is a case of gout. And of course, gout can go anywhere, but it's most commonly seen at the first MTP joint in the great toe, right? So if you have a juxtaarticular erosion, you're gonna think gout. A marginal erosion would be along the periphery of the joint, which is not seen here, but along the edge of the joint. And a central erosion would be in the center or the middle of the joint, okay? So this is a nice example of what a juxtaarticular erosion would look like in the setting of gouty arthropathy. Now, a marginal erosion happens along the periphery of a joint. So along the edge of the joint, not right outside the joint like a juxtaarticular, but really at the bare ends of the joint along the periphery, right? And of course, the differential for this would be rheumatoid arthritis, psoriatic arthritis, and chronic reactive arthritis, or you know, writer's disease, right? Or reactive arthritis. So rheumatoid arthritis is a prototypical type of marginal erosion where you get you know, loss of bone along the periphery of the joint. The reason you get that is because you get uh, panis formation, inflammatory reaction here uh, along the periphery of the joint, which erodes the bone because that part of the joint, the joint often is not uh, protected by hyaline articular cartilage. So it preferentially destroys that part of the, of the joint, right? So, you know, rheumatoid arthritis can have this appearance, but also psoriatic and chronic reactive arthritis should be considered when you see a marginal erosion. So again, an erosion that's located along the edge or the periphery within the actual joint space, okay? And then finally, as you see here in the fourth PIP joint, finally, the last of the erosion is a central erosion. Like for example, here at the, at the fifth PIP joint, you have loss of bone in the center of the joint, right? In the middle of the joint. Now, the differential for this would be erosive OA, psoriasis, and chronic reactive arthritis. So erosive OA is a prototypical type of this where you get, you know, kind of the seagull appearance where you have osteophytes along the edges, and then you get like a, you know, central area of lucency or loss of bone 
uh, that's a central erosion, right? So the erosive OA is a prototypical type, but also psoriasis and chronic reactive arthritis can also have central erosion. So psoriasis and chronic reactive arthritis can e have either central or marginal erosions, right? So uh, very important to keep in mind. So if you keep, and that's it, that's all you need to know it to, if you know that for differentials for hand erosion, you can literally tackle, you know, the most common types of arthritis when you have hand erosions, right? So in summary, again, if it's a juxtaarticular right outside the joint, you're only gonna think about gout. If it's a if it's a marginal erosion, you're thinking about the prototypical type, which is RA, but then also psoriasis and chronic reactive arthritis. And if it's a central erosion, the prototypical type of that is erosive OA, but you're gonna think about psoriasis and chronic reactive arthritis. It's easy to remember because psoriasis and chronic reactive arthritis are in two of the three, right? Marginal and central. And gout, the only thing you should consider for juxtaarticular erosion is gout. So I hope that was helpful. That's a, a different way of thinking about it, but I think often helpful when you're looking at hands and assessing the location of the erosion within the joint space. Thank you so much for your attention. Tune in next week for another amazing high yield MSK case.